All right, what's up? It's everybody's good old boy, Map Right. And yesterday I saw that there was a um, released letter from Eminem's from Eminem to Tupac's mom. And as I'm sure you guys know by now, I'm a huge Eminem fan. So I jumped on this as soon as I could, and I I uh, read all about it. And uh, I have it screenshotted onto my phone. And I'm just going to read it to you guys, and I'm going to give my opinions at the end. I've already read it, of course, but I'm going to read it so you guys can hear it. Okay, and I don't know how to put a, uh, pronounce Tupac's mom, so if, her name, so if I don't pronounce it right, forgive me. I don't mean to uh, offend anybody. Dear Afini, I'm just going to say, Dear Tupac's mom, sorry if it looks a little sloppy. I could have done a little better if I had the right pencils. Uh, what he's talking about is he also left a uh, picture of Tupac that he drew in there, uh, it was in the letter as well, and I'll probably show you guys that, plus I, wait, no, instead I had to draw it in pen, plus I just kind of thought it, thought of the idea a little too late, but I've been drawing since I was 10 and I thought you might like it, anyways, thank you for always being so kind to me, you are a true queen, and I mean that in every sense of the word, I will never forget the opportunities that you have given me, you will always be in my heart, my thoughts, and my prayers. As I have said before, you have no idea how much your son and his music has inspired not only the hip-hop world, but, speaking for myself, has inspired the whole career. He was, and still is, the true definition of a soldier. When I was feeling at my worst, before fame, before Dre, I knew I could put that Tupac tape in, and suddenly things weren't so bad. He gave me the courage to stand up and say, F the world. Well, Eminem's writing this. Sounds like Eminem. F the world. This is who I am, and if you don't like it, go F yourself. Thank you for giving us his spirit and yours. God bless you. Love, Marshall. Okay. Um, so, uh, this they, they said that this was real they said that it wasn't somebody else he said Eminem wrote it so um I was never I never knew much about Tupac I never really uh was into Tupac uh I listened to Ghetto Gospel Changes and Dear Mama other than that I haven't heard much Tupac um I what I can say about Tupac is I like the message he delivers I like um how he gives people hope he certainly does that but, um, I just, I don't think he was good at rapping. That's my opinion. You know, some people will hate me for saying that, because just because he was so inspirational. I will say that. He was a good, inspirational person. But, yeah, it's a shame that Tupac had to die, because he was good. And, uh, so, yeah, that was the letter from Eminem. Um, and I'll put that in, probably, and I'll probably put in the, um, drawing of Tupac as well. Please don't hate me for saying I don't think Tupac's a good rapper. Uh, I, when I say that, I mean, I don't think he's good at rapping, like, uh, like how I'm not good at rapping, you know, like, I'm just not good at it, I don't think he's good at it, uh, I don't know, maybe that's just because they didn't have computer stuff back then, I don't know, I, I just, it never caught on to me, I was never a big Tupac fan, I just like the message he delivers, but I'm more of an Eminem kind of guy, and when it comes to hip-hop, Eminem's really the only person I listen to, I don't really listen to anybody else, but, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the washing machine, that dinging noise. But yeah, so that's the letter. That's my opinions. Please don't hate me for sharing my opinions. And uh, I'll probably read the letter soon now. I'll probably read the uh, drawing as well. So uh, that's it from your good old boy, Matt Bright.